As far as books that have influenced my life, I, I don't think I could point to any one book or author, but, uh, but a whole series of books. Um, uh, in terms of uh, writings by other theologians earlier in the history of the church, Certainly John Calvin, his Institutes of the Christian Religion, which I read uh, just before my senior year in college, uh, was extremely influential. Uh, Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology that I used as a textbook before I wrote my own uh, to teach from. Um, Charles Hodge, Systematic Theology that I used as a student at, at Westminster Seminary um, in Philadelphia, just just loved many of the insights there. So those were they were influential. Uh, Bavink as a, a systematic theologian as well, Herman Bavink. Um, but but I also was greatly impacted by J. Gresham Machen, Christianity and Liberalism, written in the 1920s, still in print, and I still require it of my Introduction to Theology students because it lays out so clearly the basic division between uh, people who believe the Bible and those who don't among, among Protestants and what, how that works out and what they think about the Bible, about God, about human beings created in the image of God, about sin, about Christ, salvation, and the church. And uh, I, I remember reading that as a college student, undergraduate at Harvard, and thinking, if I could ever write with the clarity and logic and faithfulness to Scripture that I saw in J. Gresham Machen, I would love to do that. Um, John Murray, Redemption Accomplished and Applied, another uh, very influential book, and there were others. In terms of prayer, uh, an old book by uh, David McIntyre, The Hidden Life of Prayer. Um, very, very helpful. I've read it a number of times. There are others, but at least those were significant.